Are you planning on buying a sewing machine but confused if you should buy a server or a sewing machine? If this is so, read the server vs sewing machine comparison that will help you make a decision as soon as you complete going through this vita. Probably the most confusing, the most asked, and the most searched question by sewers or beginners, what is the difference between sergers and sewing machines, but which one is better and which one should you buy? It is essential for you to understand the different features and purposes of a serger to know it better and make a smart decision assuming that you are already familiar with what a standard sewing machine does. What is a serger? An overlocker or a serger is a type of sewing machine that uses multiple threads to seam fabric and cover its raw edges. And that's not all because it can be used for finishing and construction at the same time. You can use it for hemming, flat locking, seaming, and other decorative edgings. As can be seen just by looking at the serger, it can come with two to eight spools of threads. Unlike a sewing machine that uses a bobbin, a serger uses loopers to stitch which are fed by spools of thread. For your serger, the essentials for its maintenance will come in the box. It's important to know that the oil used on your overlocker is different from the oil used on your standard sewing machine. These bottles are not interchangeable. You will need an awl or stiletto pointed tool that can be helpful when it comes to feeding fabric close to the presser foot and more importantly, the cutting knife, a pair of nice sharp tweezers as they make it easy to thread loopers, needles, or in any tight spaces where your fingers might not be able to maneuver with grace. Wonder clips to keep a metal pin or your fingers clear of the cutting knife as your cutting knife will be severely damaged if you accidentally clip one of those pins. Unless it is out of the way, well, that is all you will require the most with your serger to operate it safely. The biggest myth about a serger is that it can only be used to do a seam, but it is not. A serger can be used on almost any fabric and can be used to sew the whole garment alone. The following are some notable uses of a serger. Create decorative edges using thicker threads not meant for a sewing machine a must-have for sewing knits, fleece, sweatshirt fabric, or anything stretchy, beautiful rolled hems on lightweight, and sheer fabrics in minutes. Simplify and speed up the gathering of lighter weight fabrics. Insert elastic, beads, wire, cording, and pearls along any edge using one of the many available accessory serger feet. Keep fabrics from unraveling more than necessary by finishing raw edges by applying a serged edge. It is really surprising what a serger can do like a standard sewing machine it can gather fabric. It can do a narrow rolled hem. It can neatly do piping and can even hem on it. And all these things are done faster and more professionally than a standard sewing machine. It trims away seam allowances and encases raw edges all at up to speeds of 1700 stitches per minute. But there are a few things for which you cannot rely on a serger to do buttonholes, top stitching, facing, and zippers. Do you need both? No. You may not need both of them depending upon your current condition if you are a beginner. A standard sewing machine will take you a long way, and as you will get experience and would want to work faster and give a more professional finish to your project, a serger would be required. We are almost wrapping up. These are the common differences between these two. Hope you like this video. Please comment, share, and subscribe to this channel for more videos.